Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got two benches, a table, and two chairs to redo. So follow along. <laughs> We do a lot of dressers and we do some kitchen tables, so it's always fun to mix them up. Today, we're going to sand the tops of the benches, the tabletop here. We're going to stain those, paint the legs and everything white. So the breakdown today is actually going to sand first. Then we'll worry about construction of the legs, make sure everything's tight. We're probably actually going to take all the legs off, especially off the table. All the drawers will come out and uh, we'll work from there down. So. It seems like an easy project, but it's, it's a lot of sanding if you want to get down to a stain available product. So, got our DeWalt sander, a ton of 80 grit sandpaper, and we're going to spend the next couple hours sanding this all down. Go with the grain, and just try to enjoy as much as you can of it. <laughs> it's a pain. So, let's start with the benches, work away to the table. I already unlatched the top, so when I get to the top, I can pull these apart, sand down the middle, and work over the ground. And we'll see how much uh, polyurethane's on this, which will gunk up the sandpaper pretty quick, but maybe not. We'll see. Sanded, ready to go. We're gonna put some stain on it here before it gets too dark here today. We're gonna let that dry overnight. Then we can start flipping these over, start painting the bases uh, for the benches. We won't even have to remove the legs. We're gonna paint it all together, make sure it's all tight. But for the table, we're gonna pull the legs out. The reason we do that is because uh, if you ever move, or if I deliver this table, I'm gonna remove the legs to help uh, make it easy to, to deliver and uh, and set up in their house so I want everything to look complete but first step is to stain these pieces now I've got two rags one I'm gonna put, apply the stain with the other one I'm gonna use to wipe off and I'm gonna go end to end keeping with the grain make sure that you're not putting any drops as you get over to the spot because those spots those little rings are actually gonna show up in this so take a little extra time make sure you do it all uh, with a little bit of patience and it'll come out really nice. labor intensive work, sanding, wiping it down, uh, making sure everything's nice and tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the benches, the drawers, then we're going to start on the table. Now we haven't done anything to the chairs yet and uh, we're going to leave that as an end project. We'll sand and do all that as a separate project but I wanted to get the bulk out of the way here at first. So we're going to paint these twice, drawers twice, then we'll start working on uh, the the frame. So let's get started.
got the benches done, we painted them twice, now we can start working on the table itself. So what we're going to do is remove the legs. I mentioned this earlier in the thing, uh, in the video, that I removed the legs so if somebody was to purchase this and then they are moving, when they take the legs off, it is finished. Uh, sometimes when you put them back on and they're not finished, it never lines up the same. So you have those little lines where it's been painted and not painted, it just doesn't look right. So we take them off, it doesn't take much long much work half inch we'll undo the legs I'll show you how I paint them do the frame which makes painting the frame a lot easier also we'll do that twice and then we can start sanding these components and see what it looks like when we get it finished so let's get started So we have everything painted and dried. So now what we're gonna do is sand it down. We're vintage statement, statements, so we're gonna definitely give this a nice old farm style look. Now, this step you could skip if you want it and go right to waxing it if you want more of a solid white, but I like that worn in look. So we're gonna add a little sand to it. Not gonna spend a lot of time on it. Got a nice grip sandpaper here. I think we're using 120 here. Go around it, scuff it up to your liking, make it a lot more scuffed up or just the edges, whatever uh, whatever appeals to you, and then go from there. Then we can start waxing it. So let's get the sanding first. We are at a point where we can start waxing. We're gonna use our Home Depot wax here, just a clear wax. Got an old rag, or sock really. Boop, 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 boop. Go around, we'll do the tops, bottoms, legs, we'll do it all, put it back together, and I'll show you what this looks like at the end. Here it is completed, two benches and a table, four drawers. Now we did start with two chairs, but I haven't got to those yet. I'm gonna do those as a separate project to kind of show how I do chairs. Um, but overall, really like how this came out. It's a dark walnut stain, white, pure white base, and it's scuffed up. And then we waxed it all. So if you like this project and many others, Subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and we love seeing those comments. Uh, the ones we've received, uh, really uh, appreciate and uh, love the feedback. So we'll keep doing cool projects like this, and well, somebody might have this in their house here soon.